Hi, in this add-ons video we're going to take a look at LVUI. LVUI is an add-on for customizing your user interface and it's very flexible. This is not going to be a comprehensive look at it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the process of me setting up my basic UI, uh, getting ready for the Legion pre-patch. There are other options in the menu. Feel free to dive in and see for yourself. Okay, so when you get in, you'll be presented with a thing like this. Just to go through it, um, clicking on all each of these bits before you continue. Sometimes you get a bit of a choice. Do you want that style, that style, that style? Doesn't really matter. I prefer the dark style, high resolution, physical DPS in my case. Again, you can change all of these manually anyway. Aura bars and icons I prefer to go for. And click finished. Now that's just the basics. Now what we're going to do is to sort of change quite a lot of things here. So, slash LVI. Let's look at the general things to begin with. So there's a couple of options. First of all, we can have in the general thing. Do you want to announce interrupts? So when you've done an interrupt, do you want to announce it? We're going to put, oh, yes, put it in say. This is useful. Auto repair. So if you get guild repair, so that every time you go to a venue, you don't have to remember to uh, repair it or just automatically repair your gear. Yes, we'll do an automatic thing there. Automatically accept invites. No, no, no. <laughs> Vendor grades. Yes. Um, that what this will mean is every time you access like a merchant or something like that, all the grey crap in your bags will just be automatically vended. It has no value. Auto greed or de. Blah blah blah. No, I don't want any automatic things to do with loot. Um, I'm just trying to see because there might be some new things in here as well. Okay, my top panel. We don't want the bottom. The bottom panel is just this this thin strip of black down here. Uh, but I've got to have stuff down there, so that's just going to be in the way. I'm not interested in that. Uh, let's have a look. Chat bubbles. So this is just sort of to say. When you've got a chat, what sort of um, font do you want it appearing with? Uh, we'll go for Expressway with this. Oh dear. Some settings, when you change them, require like a reload UI thing. That's annoying. Right, come back. Right, I'm going to leave things like that for now. Okay. Minimap is always a good one um, for stuff. For example, the class where we put, if we didn't want this showing, we could have it hidden. Um, for example, it also allows us to sort of move it. I'm going to move it down there. because The main reason is that the instance difficulty usually shows up there and that sort of gets in the way of it. So I'm just shoving that out of the way. I'm going to move that a little bit to the edge as well so I'm not actually obscuring too much of the minimap and then that should be fine there right action bars this is one of the main things so the micro bar at the moment is not enabled with LVU I don't know why that is uh, but it's not um, so I'm going to enable it and that's the bar with all our stuff to access like talents and things like that I'm just going to at the moment enable all the bars we want all the bars And then we want to make them all the same. Now, I don't want them as large as this. I don't need them to be as large as that. I, some people don't even have all these bars shown. They only have like a very, very small amount because they know you don't need them to track when your abilities are available because you use other add-ons for that, such as Tell Me When in the previous video. But I like to see them all. And the main reason for that is sometimes I change things around, but more importantly, um, if I'm moving between lots of different characters, I, I try and bind similar abilities to the same sort of bind, but I sometimes forget where I put absolutely everything. So I just have everything shown anyway, but just make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to change my button size to 24. Uh, so you can see that that bar down there uh, is a bit smaller now. I'm going to do that with all of them. 24. This one to 24 as well. I mean, experiment, see which one you prefer. Now, the bar four, you can see there's something slightly different. If I just go back here, we can, ooh, bar four for some reason has backdrop enabled. I'm gonna disable that, because I want them stacking together. 
Uh, and the other thing is here, it's um, buttons per row, 12. Well, I want that many. The other thing is on this, the way I've got it set up, it's now going in sort of reverse order. It's, you know, alt, alt one, alt two. It's going sort of, sort of backwards from my point of view. And that's to do with the anchor point. So I just want it the same as all the others. So where the rest anchored for? Bottom left. So I'm going to anchor this also from the bottom left and it will switch those binds around to the way I want it. I'm also going to change the button size for this to 24. 24. Now we can see for this one, uh, this is a much smaller one, only six buttons. I'm going to change to 12 buttons <clears throat> and 12 buttons per row. I mean, you can, as I say, you, you, know, you can change this so it will do it as two sets of six if you want some people prefer that set it up for how you want um this is how i want it <clears throat> and it could be argued that i'm not now going to need anywhere near the number of uh, abilities i'm going to have so i don't need as many bars but the binds are my binds i don't want to relearn all of my binds so i'm just going to keep that as it is for now Right, for the pet bar, which won't be relevant on the Retribution Paladin, this will be easier to set up if I was on my Hunter or something like that. But I just want to make sure that this is also going to be set up the same as all the others. We don't want a backdrop on that either. So, there's other options to do as well, but for now, that I, I just want to move these to the right place. So what we do when we're ready to move things around, click Toggle Anchors. Now I'm just going to move a few things up here. Uh, there's all sorts of things going to get moved out of the way. I'll sort those out later. The player frame and the target frame. Now one thing, one thing that's quite bad about the standard UI, the player frame is sort of over there. Um, what you want is the important information around your screen here. I've just enabled the cursor. Um, so that you can actually see where I'm waving. So this area around here where my character is, I want important information around it, not over it, but around it. Um, but the player and target frame I'm gonna deal with later. The boss button again, we're just gonna move a few things out of the way for now. Because I want to get at the bars. Right, bar six we'll have over there. Now, if I want just to get that line up, you have a little nudge button here you can just do to move it a um, very small distance. Right, so bar one, I'm going to have that right over here. Again, I'm just going to nudge that so it's flush there. Right, where's the next bar? I want the one with the shifts on it. Oh, it's here. Okay, did I forget to put extra buttons on that? I'm just going to change that back because that I think that was bar three. Yes, I did. That wants to be at 12 and 12 as well. Toggle anchors. Right, that's better. Um, then I have this bar down here. Again, this is just the way I set it up. So once I've set my bars like that up, you can keep sort of checking how it'll actually appear. Press close um, and see what it actually looks like. So that leaves a lot of space around here and I want that for a particular reason as well toggle anchors now the frames here some people do especially as DPS do like these frames over here because they don't really pay much attention to them I always prefer them down here now I've had it noted in the past by people that perhaps the reason I prefer that is because it's a nice convenient place from the point of view of a healer and I have been a healer in the past and this is where I preferred my raid frames to be. And that's certainly true. Okay. But that's a personal preference. If you prefer them all the way over there, because you're not going to interact with them very much, then that's fine as well. Right. Um, other things to move for now. I'm going to move these frames over here. I don't actually do arena, so the arena frames don't actually matter. But the important thing is the objective frames. This is where the quests appear. So we don't really want stuff appearing over the quest. It just makes it messy. So I'm going to move the boss frames over there as well. And then the quest can still be appearing down here. And that's fine too. Right, let's just change a few other bits and pieces now. So if we move down to bags, 
actually the first thing to note is the bags are not shown we have to scroll quite far down to enable the bag bar itself like this is another one that requires a reload and we can see that the bags are appeared down here uh, and one thing you'll notice in LVUI is when you open up the bags it opens up the whole lot okay right I'm not gonna you, you can play about with all sorts of options if you want in the bag thing I'm just gonna leave it at that for now uh, chat <clears throat> now here's where you can change the font uh, of certain things here so you can see here for example um, what sort of font do you want Hello, I've lost it now oh it's there right okay expressway is what I had for the actual chat uh, bubbles but I don't think that's what I want there but just play about to find one that you actually like I'm just going to go for 2002 for now because um, I can't actually remember which one I actually use tab font that's the one at the top um, you can change the size of these of course as well but I'm just going to leave that now what I'm going to go into next are unit frames and the main reason for that is player frame. The player frame as it is at the moment, I can't actually, let's just close this for now, is very large. It's nice to have it round about your character. You know, I can track my holy power, my various resources, there's the mana, the health. It's very nice to have that in the same sort of position as where you're focusing, which is around where the character is. So like you can keep an eye on ground effects and what you're targeting and all the rest of it very, very easily. But that's a bigger bar than we need. We do not need it to be that size. So what I'm just going to do is to reduce the size of it. Right. I've probably gone a bit mad there. Maybe we have it a little bit larger than that. But again, just trial and error. Just try different values. That looks a bit more like it. And in terms of the height, I mean, I could reduce the height a bit, but the height looks good. Um, I'm okay with that. I'm just going to do that while I remember that number with the target frame as well, so that they can match each other nicely. And then I'm just going to toggle anchors, because what I want to do, now that I've reduced the size, I want to move them in a bit closer, because remember, I want them around. I don't want them too much in the way, but I want to be able to see them. Now, the other thing um, I find particularly useful here, um, let's just deal with the focus frame. So if I have a focus target, I can see that easily enough. Uh, if I have a pet, I can see that easily enough. The boss button can go down there for now. I'll just move that up a bit. Um, for interrupt duty, it's quite nice to have uh, a, a, a the target cast bar so I'm just going to detach the target cast bar from there and put it there and I'm going to make it a bit bigger so I'm just going to go to the target frame we click down here we can vary various things I'm going to click on cast bar and I'm going to make it wider I'm going to call that let's say about 240 okay oh I can uh, I might actually make it a bit wider still let's say 320 just throwing random numbers around here okay good so we've got a cast bar there so if I'm on interrupt duty that I should be able to notice that quite clearly <clears throat> right across the just across, going across the head of my character now I could do the same thing with a focus cast bar let's say I was having to target one boss uh, target one mob sorry but interrupt another as sometimes happened towards the end of oh my god I've forgotten the name of the boss now the fungus type boss in in Highmore. Um, <clears throat> now it was sometimes useful to have the focus cast bar up there as well, but I'm I'm just going to show you the basics. You can always play about with it however you like. Oh the pet bar sorted itself out now. Pet bar sometimes um, can be a bit of a monkey, so you have to wait for it to sort itself out and to go into sort of vertical mode, which it now has done. So I'm going to put that there. Um, right, okay, now another thing we want is buffs by default 
seem to sort of show above the, the player frame. Now I'm just going to try and show this here. Um, hang on a minute, let's have a look. Right, so I've got buffs showing above here. I don't want that. I've got buffs up here, that's fine. They're sort of, if any important buffs I want to track, I will track with the Tell Me One, which just appeared up there. Those buttons that appeared there is a completely different add-on, um, by the way. So, what I want to do is to basically get rid of them. And we go down to Aura Bars and untick Enable. And I'm going to do it on the target frame as well. Um, actually, I'll just I'll, I'll let you decide for yourself. We'll just let's just do this first of all. So first of all, those buffs. Don't worry about these buttons over here. That's my tell me when. That's a different add-on. So my buffs are just showing there. The debuffs are still showing on the target here. Now you might like that. Um, you could always keep it. You know, not have buffs showing for yourself because they'll go all the way up here if you get end up with loads of them. But you might still decide that you want it on the target, or you may not. I am tracking them some of the way, so I do not. So I'm going to take those off. But, you, you know, it's very much up to you. It's very customizable, this. So I'm going to take that. So Aura Bars. Remove those as well. Now, one feature that, in theory, is very good. On the default UI, this bar here... Um, is useful but of course it's just duplicated here and just getting in the way of everything so we sort of want to remove that now there's a couple of stages to do that um, with LVI the first is to disable nameplates um, so just tick off the enable there press accept it'll do a little reload then what we need to do is to go into the interface option the standard interface options click on names and then we want to get rid of this. Untick that. This option isn't available while you have nameplates enabled on LVI because I think that sort of takes over it. So click OK and I think that should sort it. Right, it's gone. So that's sort of the basics of how I would want this sort of set up. Now, when you're coming to do this on other characters, you don't have to go through that same process. If you like the setup, then all you have to do is go down to Profiles, and then Copy From. Okay, voila. Now, I will just point out there is one slight change here. The one thing that never seems to be copied across is the bags. You can see the bags are not showing down there. So let's just scroll all the way down, click Enable, Accept. Okay. So as always, I hope you found that useful. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share with others you might think are interested. If there's any specific questions, certainly put those in the comments below. There will be further add-on videos coming out over the next week or two as well. And what I'll probably do at the end of it is do an overall Q&A if people have asked general questions about these add-ons as well. So until next time, I'll see you later.